All right, I am sitting here in Premiere Pro to answer a question from uh, Melissa Armstrong, who took my video tutorial on how to create food videos. And now she's having issues because in the video tutorial, I talk about setting your camera to 1920 by 1080, which is a full screen mode. Um, however, her camera does not go to that setting. So Melissa, here is how to hack uh, your video in Premiere Pro. So what you've done is you've gone and sent me one of your videos which is actually in a square. So if I just drag this down here to my Premiere Pro then when I pull up the sequence I can go to the sequence settings and see that the frame size is 1080 by 1080. Now in your actual camera let's say it's gonna be I can't I think you said it, it goes to 12 something so um, when you pull in your video, this frame size will say 1280 by 1080. So that's all well and good, except that we want to take these videos to a 1920 by 1080 so that we can videotape um, them on like a YouTube style screen, but then also take them down to a square. So, and then of course that makes it really, really easy to take it to a square. So I'm actually going to show you two ways today to hack that square, Melissa. Both of them are going to require saving the video before you put the text on top, which is like one added step, but it's really quite easy. And actually I prefer doing it that way because it helps me make sure that I have a form of video that I can go in and edit several times if clients need um, without having to lug around or go in and also change the title. So, um, Anyway, just keep that in mind. So the first thing that we're going to do is let's pretend that this is your 1280 by 1080 size. Um, we're going to go into sequence and whatever your sequence settings are, you're just going to change them to the 1920 by 1080. When you click OK and OK again, then you're going to get something like this. Now, there's one thing that you can do straight from your computer. It's not going to work here because we already have black bars in this video, but what you can do is you can right mouse click here and you'll see that these two options come up, scale to frame size and set to frame size. And if you click on those, what will actually happen if you haven't already edited in black bars as you have with this video, is your frame, your picture will actually jump and fill up most of the 1920 frame. So that would be step number one, is you're going to turn everything to 1920 and then you're going to set to frame size and scale to frame size until that video pops into the maximum allowable area in that HD section. The second thing that you're going to do is you're going to double click and what you're going to do is you're going to get this like little blue thing around your picture and what that's going to do is allow you to drag this video clip to any size that you want. You can also flip it, you can, there's all sorts of things that you can do in this window, but you're just gonna drag that to fill in your 1920 by 1080 section. Now, this is gonna be a little bit scary right now because of course we have text, and that's why I'm saying that you need to do this before you put in the text. So what I would do is I would edit all of the videos together, save that, in your format and then pull it back in, pull in the video and put the titling on top. If that doesn't make sense, call me, <laughs> you know my number. Okay, so now we have this video here and uh, we're gonna go ahead and of course, because you're going to expand your video just a little bit, go to your creative curves and let's just tighten up your sharpening so that we can make sure that we don't lose any of the resolution here. I would definitely pull your Lumetri color here on your sidebar because I use it all the time. Um, in this first shot, I might brighten it up a little bit. I'm definitely going to add some contrast. I'm always going to take the saturation up 10% because I really want those colors to pop. And generally, um, especially if using an older camera, I'll pipe in a bunch of extra whites just to give um, that video a nice pop off of the screen. 
So now you'll see that your video will fill up this 1920 by 1080 size. And if you're like, well, that's close, but I'm losing some of the video, have no fear. You just double click and um, move the screen wherever you, you want the focus to be. And uh, also I would make sure that you're videoing maybe knowing that the edges are this, you know, maybe video a little bit farther away than you normally would, knowing that you're going to need to crop it slightly to get it to the 1920. So, an easy hack. Um, from here, of course, you would just go up here, you would export and save it, just like we talked about in the video. Um, so does that, as a first option, make sense to um, help you turn your standard size video into 1920? Good, I hope so. The second hack that you can do is uh, you can just, again, turn edit your video the way that you would, and then once you have it edited without the titling in it, you can just pull this video in here, keep the existing settings, and then change your sequence to a 1080. So, now this is what you see on your screen, of course, but we're like, well, but you just really, 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 really want to turn that into a square, right? So again, we're just going to click and grab, and we can turn all of that video into a square. Again, keeping in mind that your edges are going to get cropped off, so make sure that you're shooting in this nice, tight, square section, understanding that if you are going to take either an extended version of your video, the 1920, or you're just going to stretch out your 1620 until it fills the square, um, you're going to want to make sure that your focus, again, is shot here in the middle so that stuff on the edges don't, doesn't fall off. Um, so again, I would pull all of your clips in and edit them here, make sure that they look really good, and then export and save and then just bring that no text version in and start adding your titles from there. So let's go ahead and just pretend. I'm pretending this is a new title. Um, and then what this is gonna do is become, it would become a base for where all of your titles are. So you would actually have two files saved. One would be just the video clips edited together so that you can play with them. And then one would be the titling so that you can add it with the resized video. So there you go, two quick little hacks. I hope that uh, either of those help. Uh, give them a try and then come back and report. I'd love to hear what you're finding and we'll keep finding ways to help you hack this uh, video size issue because it really isn't that big of a deal at all. So. All right, looking forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.